guys welcome to my channel today and thanks for stopping by so today I'm coming on to share a haul with you um, from what I've bought from the uh, Black Friday sales um, I've got quite a bit but I just wanted to say that I do save for the Black Friday sales I save three pounds every week I put it in one of them tins that you can't get into and then the week before Black Friday I undo it and count how much I've got it's normally around £150. I just throw either £2 or £3 a week in the tin so I can have a nice little spend in the Black Friday sale. So I'll show you what I got. Uh, the first shop was from Crafters Companion. They all had fantastic sales on, really, really great sales this year. Um, like I said, I picked up some lovely things. I really did. Um, so I'll show you what I got. First of all, I got this signature collection rose gold collection and it's this edging die um, I haven't got all the prices there is uh, the, as I'm uh, recording this video today which is Monday is it the 29th I think the Black Friday sales are still on so I'll try and get this video up today if I can uh, so I got that one I got this curing thoughts it's three roses dies that one was something like 80 pence they were really cheap I got this butterfly 3D embossing fold. I don't know whether you can see that one properly with this sh the glare. I got this stamp set, go make a fairy tale and go and live in it. That was something like 60 pence. I just got some fantastic bargains this year. And then I got this other modern roses it's called. This is the signature collection from Sarah Davis. And they're really nice size dies. So I got that one. This collection I've been collecting, it's the uh, Vintage Diary one. So I got these, I've never used these before. These are rub-on transfers and um, they were £1.12 I think, got them. And then I got this Vintage Diary, um, is it stamp set? Embellishments, I'm not even sure what's in this one. Oh, it's a stamp set, yeah, it is. Let's just grab a piece of white it's that one there just thought that was really nice and they were just so cheap I just couldn't not buy them and like I said I do save every year for Black Friday so I can have a good old spend um, yeah and this one is another stamp set I like this one this is very vintagey it's got the bird cage the feather the key um, yeah the stamps so I've got that one got a few Christmas bits to put away for next year um, I got this from the Vintage Diary collection as well I got an embossing folder uh, which is script and the book so that was really nice and then I got this embossing folder which is like script background with the feather on they were so cheap honestly they really really were and I picked up this one it's from the Rose Garden collection and this is called filigree foliage and it's them two leaf dies I got this one which is called Climbing Rose and that's just like a corner die which I thought was really nice. I got this one which is the signature collection again and it's just the word sparkle. Look how big that die is. It's real, it's not that big, it's really lovely die. I got that for when I do my next furry journal. I got this Snowflakes and Kisses embossing folder show you that one because you can't really see on the package yeah there's just fantastic bargains on this website it's just a snowflake embossing folder just a 3d one that'll go in my christmas stash for next year i might even use that on my winter my uh, winter project I might use that one then i got another embossing folder which is just like a wood grain which I thought was really nice. That was only a pound or something like that. And then I got this one which is called Ornate Lace. That's another 3D embossing folder. So they were my goodies from Crafters Companion. Then I did a little shop with, um, oh, what's it called? Visible Image. I love their stamps. I really do. They had a Black Friday sale on. So they arrived today and I've got this thank you card there. I've got this one which is called Simply Snowflakes. I think this was £1.13. I love stamps. I've got lots of stamps. I do enjoy stamping. I've got this one which is called Flower Art. And these visible image stamps stamp lovely. 
I've got this one which is called Random Act of Kindness, all them quirky flowers. I love this one here, that little sort of background stamp. This is my favourite, this is the one I went on to look for to see if it was in the Black Friday sale and it was. And it's called Totally Toadstools and we've got all there. We just thought that was a lovely stamp set, I've been looking at that one for ages. I've got this one that's called Imagine, Dream and Inspire and then we just get the four words there with the definitions. Imagine, Dream, Inspire and Create. And then the last thing I got from Visible Image was this lovely... Um, it's called Ripples Stencil. So they were my goodies from Visible Image. Then I came across, I was looking for something and I came across a website I've never even heard of before and it's called, let me just get the invoice out. It's called craftclearance.co.uk and honestly the bargains they had on this website were just unbelievable. I bought these Distress, Tim Holtz Distress Stains. I'm just looking, I've got some more of them. These, some were £1.12 and some were £1.25. So these are the, I've never used these before, the Distress Stains. Let's take them off the bags and let's have a look which ones i got. But for that price, I thought anything Tim Holtzy for it is a bargain, isn't it, for £1.12 pence take them out of there, just got to find places to put everything now, I'm going to have to have a sort out I think and get rid of some more of my stuff that I'm not using, make way for all my new stamps, yeah so I've got these, these are the Distress distress Stain, i got Peel Paints, i got Barn Door, Weathered Wood, Gathered Twigs, Frayed Burlap, Scattered straw, spiced marmalade, aged mahogany, walnut stain, mowed lawn, seedless preserves, and faded jeans. So they were bargain at one pound. They were either like I said, one pound twelve, and some were one pound twenty-five. Then I got these. These are cosmic shimmer shimmer mist. These were sixty-nine pence. I think. Have I got the price there? No, it's not giving me the price. Uh, hang on a second. What have I done with that? What did I just do with that? Oh, it's here. It's fell behind me. Let me just see if I can find a price. Oh, yeah, it is giving me the price. I'll tell you how much these were. I've got a, a yellow one. I've got the like lilac -y blue and then this like coppery one. And they were, bear with me a second, because I've got three sheets of... Um, 88 pence each these were the mists the cosmic shimmer mist and the spray stains let me just check sorry i've got that wrong these were one pound 25 not one pound 12 so i got those got some ribbons these were really cheap um, how much were the ribbons don't want to spend ages looking on the big list to tell you 50 pence I got the uh, burgundy because I've got another project coming up where I'm going to be using burgundy I got the green because I always use green and then I got this stripy one I got that I got some of these little uh, speed spacers they were only about 50 pence I think I like using these yeah I've never never come across this website before and I was looking for something and it just come up in my search craftclearance.co.uk I will leave a link if you want to have a look. Uh, 50 pence they were. Then I got some of these lovely roses, uh, like fabric roses. I got gold, organza they are. These are a pound each, gold, black and white. So I'll pick them up. I got some different laces. They're all black, but the different... The lace was... Um, cut three sheets to look through sorry guys I just want to tell you the right prices pound each one pound each so the first one I got was that one oh I should have ordered two lots of these really for a pound and you get uh, where does it say how much you get 
nice three yards on each so I've got that one and then I've got this one just beautiful isn't it for a pound I couldn't believe it I've got that one which is like scalloped lace and then that one so that was then they were a pound each and then I went a bit mad with stamps oh actually I've got two more bits here I've got these finishing touches just like big sparkles I thought they might be nice on my winter journal I think they were a pound Let's have a look two pounds they were then big clusters and then I got these beautiful the like snowflake charms I thought I could definitely use some of these on my winter journal they were two pounds they're the craft consortium ones and then like I said stamps I bought an absolute ton because I couldn't believe the price I got these two spellbinders ones peony blossoms and botanical feather and these are the red rub red rubber stamps so I'm hoping they stamp nice and these were uh, where are we let's have a look one was £2.70 and one was £3.25 so I'm hoping they'll stamp nice then I just went a bit mad with all the woodware stamps because before I ordered them I went on to Amazon and had a look at the prices the majority of these stamps were £1.63 none of them were dearer than that some were £1.13, £1.63, £1.50 I didn't pay any dearer than £1.63 quite a lot of Christmas ones I think this is old stock because I think woodwork have different packaging now but that doesn't matter to me as long as they stamp so I got that one which is the Nordic snowflake I got this one which is bold blooms Ursula couldn't believe it when I seen the price of them I got deck the halls so that's another Christmas one I'll put all these Christmas ones in my Christmas stash festive panel Um, Bold Blooms Tanya that one is this is lovely I love this one this is called Pebble Pops yeah so for £1.60 I just couldn't believe it Christmas Frames Posy Ring this is another lovely one as well this is Bold Blooms Julia this is another gorgeous one as well butterfly botanical and then these quirky flowers which are called daisy bunch love this one the reindeers um, or like a background stamp this is called for one night only doodles holly so as you can see I picked up quite a few Christmas ones but I just couldn't leave them at £1.60 and then I got berries and branches which is that one and then finally I picked up some stencils and these were how much were the stencils 88 pence each so I've got this one which is cogs it's called what's it called oh sorry watches touch of mica masks watches that one's called this one is called floral floral frame I hope you can see there this one is called grid that one this one is called cogs for 88 pence and then this one is called alphabet alphabet sprinkle so there we go then guys there's all my lovely goodies that i've saved up all year to buy um i just have to find places to put them all now don't i i might do a little de stash with some of my stamps i'll have a look and see what i've got uh, make a little bit more room in it uh, on my shelves and whatnot so as always guys if you've got any questions please feel free to ask me i'll always get back to you at some point thanks for stopping by to join me for a little while and i'll see you all again soon guys take care bye <laughs>